Again, welcome Truck King TV. We're working on the 2018 Canadian Truck King Challenge and what you're about to see is the midsize segment and we shot it in August. They were the first trucks that were available to us considering they're both off-road trucks worked out really well because we had a lot of rain up here this year and a lot of mud. So you'll see heavy duties coming up soon and we're working on the half tons even though in the video we'll tell you what we thought of the two competitors, the overall winner of the Canadian Truck King Challenge won't be announced till we're finished every truck and that'll be in early January 2018. So keep checking back. There's going to be more videos. See you then. So this is year 11 of the Canadian Truck King Challenge and right now, head to head, this is round one. What are we testing? 2018 Chevrolet Colorado ZR2. The best thing to go up against it, also mid-size Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. And right now, we're gonna see how they do in our challenges. For hardware, this ZR2 uses Multimatic DSSV dampers, while over in the Toyota, they have a new set of Fox shocks. Now the Chevy is lifted two inches, the Toyota is lifted just an inch, and both of them get beefier tires. Now both of them are Goodyear Wranglers, although in the Tacoma, they're Wranglers with Kevlar protection. Here in the Colorado, they are Wrangler Duratrax. So we're out here cruising on a nice paved highway right now, so I'm gonna talk about what these trucks are like driving, just totally empty. The first word that comes to mind with both of them is livable. I mean, a truck that's lifted and that's meant to go off-road that can also handle decent on-road is already a step above most modified trucks with aftermarket parts. So we just got finished with the ZR2 and the TRD Pro off-road. And once we got deep in the bush, besides the bugs that we found, we also found some nice lovely mud bogs. Now the ZR2 has 8.9 inches of ground clearance versus the TRD Pro's nine and a half. And in the world of off-road, you think that that little bit extra ground clearance would make a big difference when you get out there and you bury it up to the axles. But the tires on the TRD Pro really let it down in the mud. We got into some deep stuff and it got to the point where we were wondering where the nearest tow truck is. And we got it out, forward, back, forward, back, crawled it out of the mud. We went into the exact same pit with this ZR2 and it didn't get stuck, it didn't get swamped out, it didn't bury itself, it just stuck to the ground, pulled itself out of the mud. One of the features that definitely helped the ZR2 get out of the mud was the front and rear locking differentials. Uh, being able to just put all the power to the wheels in the deep stuff really helps out when you're on the trail. Now the TRD Pro has the rear locker and it was certainly a factor in saving us from having to shovel that thing out. But definitely the advantage goes to the ZR2 with, with the dual lockers. One of the things that we noticed off-road with the ZR2 is this truck loves to stay flat in the turns, over the bumps, on the brakes, on the gas, it just has this attitude that feels stable, it feels strong. The TRD Pro off-road, it's a little more squirrely. The back end, a little more truck-like, it likes to kind of get loose and bounce around a little bit. However, between the two of them, off-road steering feel, I would take the Tacoma. The Tacoma has this on-center steering that just feels tight and straight. It's right where I need it, it's right where I want to go. The ZR2 just feels like it kind of wants to wander sometimes. It'll hit a bump, it'll kind of hold that track. I need to be constantly on it. So I want to talk about our payload and our towing test. Payload, straight up, both trucks, approximately 1,100 pounds. We put 500 pounds in the bed of each pickup. They certainly handled them without any problem. The only real difference was in the attitude. If you looked at the ZR2, it was flat. 
when you looked at the TRD Pro, it had a pronounced tilt. It doesn't seem to like weight on its back. Now, when we moved on to towing, that's really where these two trucks are very different. The TRD Pro has a weight rating of 6,800 pounds, whereas the ZR2 is 5,000. That's a significant difference. The first question that comes to mind is why? We're figuring it has everything to do with the shock system in the ZR2. It's dropped its tow rating to accommodate that Multimatic shock system because of the way that it works on-road and off-road. It just doesn't have the same amount of not towing power but actually the same amount of hitch weight so that it will maintain a level attitude. So fact is if that 1800 pounds matters to you well then the Toyota is your truck. So in our case we went with a nice 4,000 pound limit on our trailer. That is a reasonable number for a couple of mid-size pickups. And when we looked at the 4,000 pounds, they both worked well. Really, the difference being was with the engines and how that power came on. The, the ZR2 is the diesel, the 2.8 liter, whereas the V6 gas in the Tacoma is three and a half liter. However, this new 3.5 is working really really hard to improve its fuel mileage over the last generation and by doing that they seem to have starved out the power band particularly low down the truck seems to always be shifting and until you get up some serious rpm it doesn't feel like a lot of power in the mid-range so the diesel needless to say wins that battle because the torque is there it comes on steady and it pulls like a drunken mule. So you can say that's not really a fair comparison, the diesel to the gas. I can tell you though that I've also driven the Colorado with the gas engine, the V6 gas engine, and frankly, I prefer it to Toyota's one as well. Just an overall observation between these two trucks, and not even the two trucks, but the two companies, Chevrolet and Toyota. TRD Pro is a really nice package, well put together, solidly engineered. However, it does not offer you the number of choices that Chevrolet does. And in the truck world, where individualization is important and guys run in different climates, in different regions, they want different things. Toyota just doesn't give you very much you either take their package the way it is or move on. The Chevy, definitely more, more options, more choices, and in my book, more choice is simply better. We've completed the testing in our first head-to-head -head competition, and in typical Truck King fashion, we ran them empty. We put payload in there, and we've towed with them. But with these two trucks, specifically because of their off-road character, we spend a lot of time in the mud. Now, across the board, they both performed well. But at the end of the day, one of them was just a little better in every category. So, the champion in this matchup is the Chevy Colorado ZR2. Thank <laughs> you.